Hi, Dylan here. In this video, I'm going to show you the effort that it takes to find a set of turtles, even when we have transmitters on them. In total, we had about 10 turtles with transmitters to track their location, but unfortunately the batteries don't last forever. So, every single year, we have to collect them and then remove the transmitters to send back to the manufacturer. And while this may seem easy to get turtles when we know exactly where they're at, that is often not the case. <laughs> I guess you could say that's one turtle in the bag. <laughs> There's a turtle under this rock. So, this is our radio transceiver. It beeps the closer you are to one of our transmitter turtles. Now, I've been around here for the past two days trying to find it. And I know this rock has a whole bunch of burrows underneath it. So, you can hear it beeping louder depending on where he is underneath the rock. Okay. Okay. Using all my skills and knowledge as a biologist, I don't think the turtle is under the rock. further and further and further, I haven't even seen him yet. What I'm hoping is that if I come back here tonight, he'll be out feeding. I can have a much better chance to find him. I've come down here again, down to the swimming hole to try and find our very, very last transmitter turtle. And when you know it, she hasn't moved at all. This is the fourth or fifth time that I've come down specifically to get this one individual turtle. She is not in a very, very remote spot. She's not in a very treacherous spot, nothing like that. It's just that she refuses to come out and get to a place where I can actually reach her. So I am not a big fan of taking down the entire jungle to find one turtle, but it's getting pretty close to that. Turtles are supposed to come out at night so that they can go feed. They're usually more in the open water or they move around a lot. This one did not get the memo and is instead deciding to stay within her vegetation patch. So I will come out tomorrow See if I can clear away a little bit of the vegetation to get to her. And if not, I'm just going to repeat this cycle over and over until I get her. Uh, 
only because, let me show you what I'm dealing with. So what's going on here, and you may have seen this in the daylight, but here we are at night, is that our turtle is in this patch of vegetation. So you can see where I've cleared out some of it already. But the issue is, she's very, very close to the edge, but in order to clear away a lot of that vegetation, I would have to destroy either quite a bit of it, and, the, and while she may only be, you know, maybe a foot away from me, maybe two feet away, I don't know, every time I clear the vegetation, she just keeps going further and further back. So it's not really helping me out to keep clearing away more and more and more vegetation, but I might have to do that at some point, or I just keep coming out here. The issue is we need to send back the transmitters that are currently on the turtles for next field season. The transmitters on there, the frequencies tend to drop with time, and the ones that we got this year were not really the best, but we had a lot of frequencies that were very close to one another, which made tracking very, very difficult at times, as well as the fact that most of the frequencies were not exactly what we were told. So we had about a three week period of just dialing in the frequencies and they were they were way beyond what sh it should have been. Like there's normally, normally it's going to be a little bit off, but this was way, way, way off. So it really was a very confusing summer. And we need to send those in ASAP so that we can be prepped for this next field season. <sighs> so I am on my way back down to the swimming hole to find our very last transmitter turtle. Um, this is like the fifth or sixth time that I've had to go down and try and get her. At nighttime, I've been hoping she comes out and she doesn't. During the day, she's holed up in vegetation. So hopefully this will be the last time I go down. So I just came down to the swimming hole for like the fifth, sixth, whatever time to find our very last transmitter turtle. I have my machete, I have everything I need to cut down that vegetation, and let me just show you where I found him, because I don't believe it myself. I come into the swimming hole, I look around for a little bit, I look down, boom, there he is. Sitting, sitting right here at the entrance, completely out in the open ready for me to pick him up. Nothing I had to do. I haven't even turned on my transmitter yet. Okay, this is fun. <laughs> You're a pain in the ass. So just for reference, this little guy, I was about to clear out that entire bit of brush over there just to find her because she's been hiding out in there for way too damn long. <sighs> this is biology. This is how you do it. It's extremely hard work, and then for some reason, they decide to be nice to you. It's a great feeling, I guess. That was gonna be my whole morning. So she was definitely not the most difficult turtle I've ever had to track. Um, sometimes there's frequency issues, there's changing weather, there's flooding events. There's all these different things that can really make a turtle very difficult to find. Um, but she was definitely the easiest at the end to find. Um, you know, sometimes turtles, you just walk up to them or if you see them at night and they're right there, but I've never had a turtle be right at the entrance waiting for me, especially after me coming out five times to find her. That's just a pure random chance thing that can only happen in this field. Yeah. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> Seeing the undergraduates when he's like... So we've had the turtles in the lab a couple days while we took measurements, showed a few guests, took some other data, uh, and removed their transmitters. But it's very important to place the turtles back roughly where you found them. So even if it's way, way, way out in the middle of the jungle, place them back around... Pretty much just... Place them back where you found them. Simple as that. And 
finally here we are. The last turtle. She may have been a uh, very tricky one to get. She may have been one that gave me much trials and tribulations. Her name is H.O. So that is what we notched her. Yes. She is a hoe. And I think it's only fitting that I put her back precisely where I found her. I may not have known you long, Howe, but I feel like we have gone through much together. Many trials, many tribulations, heartbreak and heartache, sorrow, sadness, and happiness all in the same emotion. You were my greatest adversary. I bid you adieu. You'll always be my favorite hoe.